the death of Captain America. Captain America just got arrested and he's in some deep trouble. You see, after Cap understood the extent of the harm that civil war was causing, he decided to surrender to Iron Man's pro-registration forces, ending the war between superhumans. If you're just tuning in, you heard correctly. Steve Rogers, Captain America, has surrendered to authorities. The brutal conflict over the Superhuman Registration Act is over, after a battle unlike any New York has ever seen. Captain America threw his mask down and gave up the resistance. Then we see that a big crowd gathered near the courthouse because... As you can see, though his stand on the issue was unpopular, Captain America himself remains an icon. Only minutes after word leaked out of his appearance here, a crowd had gathered, and it continues to grow. Then we see Sharon Carter in the crowd. I'm not watching that man put behind bars, not him. Sharon Carter's aunt named Peggy Carter used to work with Captain America. They also were lovers, but it didn't work out. After some time, Sharon, who was now a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent, encountered Captain America too, and she fell in love with him, much like her aunt had. Bucky Barnes is there too, operating with Nick Fury. Damn. What is it? They're here. Transport on its way. Open up! And they're gonna parade Steve like he's some cheap hood. Like they forgot everything he's done for them. Cap, Cap, why don't you give up? Captain Cap, America. here please. Was Tony Stark right? Are you supporting the Registration Act now? He's got no comment. Step back! Hey. When does Captain America surrender? Loser! Hey! Hey, you son of a... And then Captain America notices someone. It's a sniper who's taking aim at him. And then we find out that Red Skull, who's in a body of ex-Soviet General Alexander Lukin, is out for vengeance. So with the assistance of Dr. Faustus, they create a plan to kill Captain America. Look out. What the? Sharon tries to reach Captain, but the crowd begins to scream and flee, while Bucky Barnes and Falcon start chasing the shooter. Someone shoots Captain America from a close range for the third time. Rogers is down! Where's that fucking sniper? Steve, no! Sharon, the crowd. Get them to safety. No more innocence are hurt. Kid, I spotted him. Can you fly and carry me at the same time? Nick, he's bleeding really bad. Drifting in and out. He ain't gonna die, okay? Which one? Fury said the Nick Chopper. It swooped low and grabbed our shooter. And then we see who the shooter is. It's Brock Rumlow, also known as Crossbones. Bucky starts shooting at the helicopter and hits it. Brock jumps out and tries to fight both Falcon and Bucky. But he gets easily beaten. Can you handle this? He won't be going anywhere, trust me. Get to Cap, and fast. Someone needs to watch his back, and I... I can't be that guy. Falcon, you are ordered to stand down. S.H.I.E.L.D. is taking charge of this crime scene, and taking this suspect into custody. Then take him. I got a friend to see to. We're almost there, baby. Just hang on. Then we see Sharon Carter in the bathroom splashing off her face, but suddenly, Red Skull's daughter named Sin walks in and delivers some shocking news. He says, remember. We find out that under the hypnotic control of Dr. Faustus, Sharon Carter was the one who fired the killing shot.